So let's talk today about storage and how storage impacts OpenStack. And this is a very important concept to understand as many of us kind of get these terms mixed up in our everyday lives. So right now we're drawing what we call block-based storage. So the there's three types of storage, block, file, which we're drawing here on the screen right now, as well as object-based storage. And it's important that we understand where these technologies fit within an OpenStack environment and how our applications are written to leverage these type of technologies. So it's important to note here, and we'll draw out the object-based. Object-based is essentially calling uh, blocks, small blocks of data uh, through HTTP calls, typically, uh, to an API that then writes down to the disk, maybe through uh, the Swift API, or RESTful HTTP uh, API, or there's several ways to do that. So again, block, file, and object are the three basic storage types. Here we're drawing out a storage area network. So many of you that have high performance environments probably have storage area networks within your environment running on some sort of fiber switch fabric and a SAN device, controller and disks. And then you have your network attached device, which is a bunch of disks, right? that both clients and other servers can get to. Let's draw them into, and it's a very simplistic environment made management of block-based storage a little more efficient and um, simple for people. And then you have this object-based storage. Object-based storage really are, is think about it from the application perspective. And this is where the big challenge comes with object-based storage, is many of our applications today are really written for block and file-based storage environments, not object-based storage environments. So although you may wish to go to OpenStack, if your application isn't really tuned uh, to write in object-based storage, then you're going to not get as many benefits out of that. One thing to remember also about object-based storage is it's like the old days. The server really has the storage and the compute power on it. The application resides on top there and Swift an OpenStack project and others. There are others that do object-based storage as well. But Swift is by far kind of the leader of the pack, Swift and Grizzly. These are, this is where the storage actually gets written, so the application actually writes it there. So let's go back and review just a little bit. Here we have storage area networks, typical environment block-based storage, high performance. Now we've got file base where we write in and out of a network attached device, easy access, simple to manage, that's file based. Then we have object base, which is the new player on the block here that does HTTP, HTTP to API calls uh, that calls directly into the storage. And one of the great benefits here is it allows us to directly delete the objects as well as the associated metadata. So your block and file-based storage are really your traditional open technology, uh, IT environments, and object is really OpenStack.